Welcome back to Read Only Memories. Let's check out the rest of the club and then go get the data cache from Hayden's computer. It's an arcade cabinet. Mega... Phobator? Only the most ghost shootinest gold blastinest fun you'll have this side of the bay. Can we play it? It's currently out of order. Aww. Lame. The arcade version of Charge Shot, a jetpack bounty hunter deathmatch game. Can we play it? It's busted. The Stardust should take better care of their machines. The arcade version of Super Indie Karts, one of the most fun and dynamic kart racing games around. Can we play? Currently out of order. <sighs> this is the barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Apparently, sitting isolated far away from the dance floor in video games makes you important somehow. Well, let them be important in there then. You had to leave your drink in the bar. <laughs> Good, thank god. I had two drinks that I didn't want. Uh, excuse me, would you like my, uh... Oh, I was gonna give him... I was gonna try to give him my, uh... The headphones. But I can't give them to him. They disappear when I try to use an item on him. Ah, uh, well. Let's go. Citizen, this area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of ongoing investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Hmm, I wonder if we can go in through the fire escape. Because that's how Turing got out, so maybe we can go in using that. I, I think the... Wasn't the balcony window open? Or balcony door? <clears throat> See if this let's see if this bot knows anything useful. Probably not, but that's my friend's place. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. Okay, that's what I thought. If you'd like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Listen, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required to inform you that I am set to level 2 guard... Level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I'm authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving, Nelabanda. Yeah, let's go. Hmm, that was fruitless. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. Typically, they would refuse to open an investigation on a missing person until at least 48 hours had passed. Still, we need to get in there and get that data cache. Do you have any ideas, Nilavanda? I was thinking the fire escape, but uh, apparently I have a contact with the Neo SFPD. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Lexi. She's kind of new to this jurisdiction but she'll talk to me. That's right, I am a journalist, so I would I would probably have contacts. All over the place, really. Give me a moment, Nelavanda. Oh. I see now. 
Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence, Melavanda. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Uh, sorry I didn't give you more information to compile and process? Uh, actually, I prefer it that way. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Uh, that would be Detective Rivers, Turing. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? That's definitely what I recommend. Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we, Nelabanda? Now, lead the way. <laughs> this music is so cool. The Neo San Francisco Police Station for the Richmond District. It has all the charm of, well, any other old police department. The station has seen better days. This music is seriously so cool. It kind of reminds me of Deus Ex a little bit. I think it's just the music combined with the fact that this is set in the future and there's like augmented people and stuff like that. I think it's that that's making me think of Deus Ex. It's a map showing police activity in Neo San Francisco. This old looking desk has a ton of paperwork on it. Oh my god, that's a huge stack of paper. Work is really piling up over there. Whose unfortunate job is it to organize all of that? Maybe touching the front desk attendant isn't a good idea. Oh, dang it, I did it again. I, sorry, I meant to talk to you. Welcome to the Richmond District Neo San Francisco Police Station, Citizen Nelavanda. How may I be of assistance today? I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. I tell her it's Nelavanda. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. She is working in an investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety, should you approach. Oh, she's investigating something in Golden Gate Park. This must be the, uh, it's probably the the case or related to the case of the uh, the vendor that had their stall or whatever destroyed in Golden Gate Park supposedly by like a, a rogue a rogue rom hiding in the woods that only comes out at night it's gotta be that is there anything else I can help you with mm. <laughs> there's no point in asking about the apartment there it's not gonna be able to do anything it, it can't tell me any details about the investigation. Uh, is there anything you can tell me that's newsworthy? I'm not authorized to comment. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think it maybe said something mildly interesting there that I kind of skipped. Something about protests, but eh, whatever. No, thank you. <clears throat> Have a good day, Citizen Elevanda. Okay, one thing I have to try before I leave is... Can I get any funky tunes? The chatter of the Neo SFPD police stream fills your ears. Is, is this even legal? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Well, forget the funky beats. Let's see if this robot wants some spoiled milk. Defacing police property is a very serious offense. Defacing a police ROM is even worse. 
Hey, I, I was gonna offer the milk. I wasn't just gonna pour it on it. Come on. I have some ethics. Alright, Golden Gate Park. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that thing's adorable. The th is it's so cute! Can I pet you? I'm gonna talk to you. Alfie I83. Hello, I'm Alfie I83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Sure, I'll take some water. Sure thing. Please wait. Okay, here you go. <laughs> water levels? Okay. Would you care to donate some credits to the Raw Recycling for a Greener Earth Foundation? Hmm. I mean, I'd like to, but I'm kind of super poor. Sure, I suppose. Thank you so much. <laughs> that thing is so cute. The 2064 Golden Gate Park Holiday Souvenir Glass. Refillable at any Alfie refreshment bot. Currently holding some cool, refreshing water. Well, I just had a tea, so I'm doing good for now. What is that thing? It's like an even smaller robot. Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. A small snack stand in the middle of the park. The coffee there is actually really great. Do you think I'd look nice in that hat, Nelavanda? Um... I don't know. I mean... It's blue. The problem is the hat's blue and your face is blue. So, it might just kind of blend in with your face. But, I mean, wouldn't hurt to try. I'll take you shopping sometime. You're paying. I'm poor. I... I'd really love that, Nelavanda. Maybe it would look better in orange? Or a green? Perhaps a... I forgot how to pronounce that. Is it just Mauve? 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 Mauve. 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 Having a lot of mixed feelings about this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. <laughs> Looks like he's taking a photo of his ROM. Oh, that's his personal ROM. I want to see it closer. It's so freaking tiny. Look at how small that thing is. Just got this ROM yesterday. It's an Apollo Mark 7 model. I really want to talk to it. I can't select it, though. They, they come as a unit. This isn't a park ROM. It's mine. But can I, can I just have it? Just for like an hour? You have any funky beats? Cute headphones. Not as cute as my new ROM, though. I, I know! That's the problem. It's, your robot's too freaking cute. Want some spoiled milk, dude? What does that smell? <laughs> I guess that's a no. Do you want some spo- Oh no, you don't have any. I don't think headphones go well with my hat. Would you like some spoiled milk? Are you trying to poison the water supply? N no. Funky beats? You can't sink to the- to this realm with those. Oh my god. 
That really puts things into perspective. That police rom is huge. I mean, look. Those are tiny. But that thing is not tiny. It's bigger than a normal human. Ah, there's the destroyed Froyo stand. Seriously, what is Froyo? Like, I'm actually just gonna all tab out of the game right now. I'm just, I'm all tabbing. I'm gonna Google Froyo. What is Froyo? Froyo. Wait, it's like an ice cream or frozen yogurt thing? Uh, self-serve frozen yogurt. Well, that's for a specific shop around me, but yeah. Frozen yogurt. Okay, so... Fro-yo. Frozen yogurt. Fro-yo. Gotcha! That's what that is. It's a frogan uh, frozen yogurt stand. I was gonna say it was a frogan yogurt stand. <laughs> that's not quite right. Uh. Broken beat up for you stand. You read about it in the newspaper. I did indeed. The Froyo stand wasn't activated by voice. But now everyone thinks you're crazy. Water pump. This pump controls the flow of water to the park rom. Wait. It's currently on and pumping strong. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it's actually connected to the water. Well, I assume you just have like a, you know, like a refillable little water canister held within its body, but it's actually, like, hard connected to that thing. Dang. Doesn't give it much mobility. Poor little thing is tethered. There's the owner. A very distraught owner of a very destroyed Froyo stand. Can't you see I'm busy here? You don't look busy. You just look annoyed. And that, yep, that's gotta be Lexi. Sharon Art Studio. This is the Sharon Art Studio, established in 1968. It's Neo SF's largest public art studio with classes and workshops for all ages. How's it going, Lexi? That's Detective Lexi Rivers. You met her through your sister a while back, but you haven't seen her in some time until today. I'm just gonna touch her again. Don't just. Ah, uh, I've gotta get out of the habit of just touching people. Talk. Don't touch. You don't press E to use. You don't touch people to use them. You talk to them. Hey, Nelabanda. Long time. Uh, give me a few minutes to wrap this up before you start twirling my arm about whatever you need, okay? I swear, you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn erect Froyo stand. Uh, by the way, how's your sister doing? Is she blushing? I'm pretty sure she's blushing. <laughs> Second option. Don't rush on my account, just a man's life on the line. Nah, let's not rush her. She's fine. What's with the Froyo stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we've got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone's calling Wonder Boy supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I think it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and committing some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. Not like I don't have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down. If I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. What's their problem with you? I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I've got implants. Take your pick. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you've got in Elevanda. Gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Hold on one sec. Let me finish up with this guy. <laughs> Those sounds. So, fill me in. What's going on? An old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. 
shoot, that's no good. I'm sorry. How long have they been gone? If it's been less than 48 hours, I, I can't start doing anything officially. I can't even really argue with that rule. They'll probably show up eventually. Maybe they just went on a trip. Unfortunately, Detective, things are a bit more serious than that. I'm Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to this kidnapping. Just prior to being taken, my owner instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. Now I believe he was expecting it. I've enlisted Nella Vanda for her assistance. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Shoot. In that case, you should forward me your video of him being abducted, and I'll open up an investigation. I'm not sure I'd be put on the case, a conflict of interest and all, but I can keep tabs on things for you. I was hoping we could keep this off the books. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure an official investigation goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Furthermore, we know there is already some kind of investigation currently ongoing. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax gets the shiniest new toys, huh? I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside is actually dirty. But I can pass information to you if I... If I decide my superiors aren't taking the investigation seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot in charge if it was something important. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Could you just escort us into the apartment now? No way, not gonna happen. There's already an investigation. I'm not gonna just let you waltz in and tamper with evidence. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. We can't wait a day, Lexi. Hayden might not have that long. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you stumbling after whoever took him is just going to get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Let me do my job. You know I can handle myself, Lexi. You've been there. I'm sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just let it go, Nelavanda. I'm not going to be the one watching your sister cry over your casket. I'll handle this. We'll have a better shot at this if we work it from both ends. No, Nelavanda. We're not going to do it that way. I lost too much playing fast and loose before I joined the force. And while I don't have a stick up my ass about rigs, I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, she's blushing again. <sighs> alright, alright. I hear you, Lexi. You better. Now get out of here. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you with details about the case later. Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. Ooh, is it the fire exit?
Awesome. What is it? I'll need to get my hands on Detective Rivers' police identification badge. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its data. We can't risk being too obvious. Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you, Nelavanda. Um... I think your faith is misplaced. I think this might be the first proper puzzle of the game. It is an adventure game, but it's been light on the puzzles so far. Actually, I don't... I don't think it's really even correct to say it's been light on the puzzles. There just really haven't been any puzzles until now. Uh, so what do I have? I've got water, beets, spoiled milk, and my ID. Perfect! That bot is just the cutest. Oh my god. Well, I guess first we can just try talking to her. <laughs> Toppings everywhere! The humanity of it! <laughs> Maybe I need to get him to leave to talk with her again or something. The pretzel guy. Yes, Steve. He's been after this spot for years. <laughs> yeah, the pretzel guy destroyed your stand. Oh god. You can't get Froyo today. The entire stand was destroyed. No kidding. Look, I've gone through a lot today. Just give me some space, okay? Alright, alright. Well, what about the beats? Wow, those headphones are pretty A... A1? I don't even know what that means. Is this Neo-SF lingo? What about the police ROM? Uh, I can't talk with it. Can I offer it? Well, let's listen in. Wait, run, don't walk to run, donut. Oh, it's an advertisement. Run, donut, walk. New menu including the Cronutberg and the Ridley Biscotti. What? Ridley Biscotti? Ridley? Is that like a joke on the director's name? Ridley Scott? Ridley Biscotti? Huh. Even the police feed has ads these days. Okay, um... Headphones? Those are nice headphones, but I'm busy. <laughs> Fair enough. Want some spoiled milk? Why are you carrying spoiled milk around? I love that you can just try to give people spoiled milk and they actually comment about it. <laughs> yogurt is actually made by fermenting milk with special yogurt cultures, which is then frozen to make froyo. <laughs> Thank you for the froyo factoid. Ah, oh, I can't even offer her the water. Weird. Uh, I'm actually really not sure what to do. I guess I'll drink the water and see if an uh, idea comes to me. Wait, I can't even seem to drink it anymore. What the hell? I want to drink my water. Let me drink my water. Did the game break? Why can't I drink it anymore? Unless... The Wait, how is she talking? She's off screen. What? I think I broke the game. You deactivate the pump, stopping the water flow. Oh. Well, that's got to be useful for something, but... But exactly what? I mean, okay, now it can't dispense water. Um, I guess we try to get water from it, and then it detects that it can't get water, and then... And then what's gonna happen? I don't know, but I guess we'll see. Hello. Blah blah blah, how may I help you? Yes, I would like some cool, refreshing water, thank you. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. Some people see the glass half empty. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. Alright, let's drink it. That hit the spot. Water, please. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, this is embarrassing. I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. Uh, is it okay? It looks like it's freaking out. Water levels, not okay. Water levels, not okay. Oh god. No, don't... I hope it's not gonna explode or something. It's adorable. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> oh hey. Now's the time. Look at it. Looks like Alfie knocked Lexi's ID out of her pocket. Perfect. That's all I needed. Okay, so now what? Uh, let me keep that under my... Hey! What the hell are you two doing with my ID? Uh... Nothing? Oh, excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward ROM crashed into you, and I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. Huh. Thanks. What hit me? You said it was a ROM? Yes, it seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's service card? It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads. Hey, you, Foyo guy. Uh, tack along with me in case I need you to identify it. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere. And the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Y yes, ma'am. And you. Don't think I don't know you're up to something, Nelavanda. Keep your nose clean. You too, Turing. I'll be in touch. As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. I want to prove my usefulness to the investigation beyond my ability to do net searches. Forgive me for being a bit dramatic. We should return to Hayden's. Okay, so what's the plan? Oh, I can actually look at everything in the room. Even the freaking window. A gorgeous view of some skyscrapers. Cool. Look at this plant. A healthy green plant. Look at this plant. The sunshine from the window does wonders for them. It's another healthy green plant. Look at this plant. Your diligence in plant looking is commendable. What a bunch of great healthy looking plants. Let's look at this random door randomly. That's not Hayden's apartment. That's true. Let's look at this one. That's also not Hayden's apartment. Let's talk to this person. Well, you're not a person, but, you know, talk to this entity. Close enough. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather evidence. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. Of course, Detective Rivers. Good luck with your investigation. So, are you impressed yet? Have I proven my usefulness, Nelavanda? That was excellent! You don't need to prove anything to me, Turing, but good job. Thank you. At times I feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. I just wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. Or even just being out and about in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. How did that work with just Lexi's voice anyway? Can't that police bot see us? Well, I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. 
The new SF Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Their optics are a paltry 10 megapixels. It was child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam of an image aimed directly into its lenses. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective River's badge earlier. I probably could have gotten away with just that, but better safe than sorry when impersonating an officer of the law. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the ROM. The poor thing is older than your computer. But enough of that. Let's get the data cache and return to Tomcat. Uh... What? Oh no, 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 our apartment! What did they do to my home? Who could have done this? Jeez. That graffiti looks like human revolution stuff. Why would they come after us, though? Why would they break our things? I, I don't know what to do, Nella Vanda. This place. These items. They're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? Don't worry, Turing. We'll find him. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst, Nilavanda. Let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. So, the Human Revolution people, uh, I guess, knew what he did? Or something? Like they... But why now? Why would they target him now? This is such a strange, coincidental time for this to happen. Computer's gone. Where'd the data cache be? A ROM piece has been embedded in the high res screen. There used to be a ROM piece over here, too, and it's missing. They tore up the plant, even. Someone took the time to methodically shred the poor plant. Assholes. The view is marred by graffiti and splintered glass. The desk has been ransacked and tagged with spray paint. Humanity has changed rapidly in the last century. Hybridization of the human genome and a wide variety of cybernetic augmentations has, in the human revolution's viewpoint, diluted the purity and strength of the species. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but I don't know why they'd come after Hayden. I know they don't like Parallax, because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. That's why they're protesting at Genus now. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. I think the data cache is gone, Nelavanda. We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our objective. Hmm. So what kind of angle do I want to come at this from? Delay? Corporate espionage? Or just dumb vandals that just wanted to sell some stuff? Well, if they just stole it to sell, then we might be able to find it, possibly. Hmm. It's 
too much of a coincidence, though, for it to just be vandals, right? Unless maybe somebody tipped off the human revolution to make them vandalize the place to try to destroy any evidence. That's probably it. So maybe they are just dumb. That sounds plausible. That whoever stole Hayden, whoever kidnapped Hayden, was obviously somebody interested in his research or corporate espionage or, or something, you know, relatively fancy. But it wouldn't surprise me if they tipped off or even just lied to the human revolution about about Hayden in an attempt to get them to come by and deface and just ruin his apartment to try to destroy any evidence. Maybe they really are just vandals and stole it to sell? That's a distinct possibility, Nelavanda. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the meshnet is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers. Other parts as bigoted luddites stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Ooh! What just happened? Nilavanda, thank goodness you're finally awake. I've spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced, and that you appear to be okay. Okay, I'm in the hospital. What the hell happened? Oh, my head is killing me. What happened? Someone ambushed us at the apartment. After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed. It took me 10 minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. The doctors were originally worried that you may have suffered a concussion, but thankfully that isn't the case. What's strange is that there isn't evidence of any impact trauma to your head at all. My best calculations indicate you were hit with some kind of neurological scrambler. They're serious military hardware and difficult to obtain. But that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. A mil-spec neuroscrambler fits the bill. Why did they have to attack you? And why did they attack us and just leave? If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. But the probability that they're actually after me or rather the research behind my creation, is high. Leaving me when I was vulnerable makes no sense. Who do you think did this? Perhaps a big multinational corporation, or even an actual government. I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Crashing our apartment was probably a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. Hmm. But again, why just leave us? Maybe they want to use you to lead them to the rest of Hayden's research? But why even knock us out at all, if that's the case? Let's go with that, though. A reasonable deduction, Nilavanda. We'll have to be careful from here on out, so as to prevent our stalkers from snatching our prize from us. If they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens to him. Did you see who hit us? No, I didn't. 
They hit us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. They either had cloaking of some kind, or were just very careful making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Did they just sneak in the front door while we were there rummaging? When my RAM got scrambled, I lost a few seconds of memory that hadn't yet been written to my data drive. Anyway, the nurses told me that they do want you to stay overnight for observation, Elevanda. A sound precaution to be sure, but if we were hit with a neuro scrambler, not a blunt object, it's a waste of time. I won't presume to make medical decisions for you, but perhaps we should pressure them for your release today? It's just... Hayden's trail is getting cold. Oh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. Wait a minute. That's the only thing you had of my personal effects? But, but, what about my headphones? And my spoiled milk? Here are those headphones you reviewed. Oh, thank God. But what about the spoiled milk? I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. And here's your spoiled milk. Yes! Oh my god, thank you. I love you, Turing. Luckily, the hospital staff didn't find you carrying a carton of spoiled milk around to be a cause for concern. <laughs> Is that spoiled milk going to be a joke for the entire game? And finally, here's your commemorative glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks like it got broken. Now all we have is this broken commemorative glass. Maybe we should just throw it away. You're right. You wouldn't want to cut yourself. Aww. Just let me know when you want to leave. Ah? Uh, excuse me. I do not mean to be a busybody, but you see, visitors are so rare these days. Have I overheard that your friend has gone missing? Hmm? I guess that's the person behind the curtain. Well, as much as I'd like to see who's behind the curtain, this episode's running a little bit long, so I think I'm going to end it here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.